Okay, this is A2 Pure. Uh, we're on chapter two, trigonometry, and we're looking at solving trig equations, uh, ones that include compound angles and double angles. So this one here, two sine two theta is three sine theta. First of all, it looks okay because they're both sine thetas, but because it's a sine two theta, we can't join those two together like that. So we're gonna use our double angle formula and move them from there. So I've changed my sine two theta to a two sine theta cos theta equals 3 sine theta. I've then multiplied out my bracket, give me 4 sine theta cos theta, and taken the 3 sine theta over the other side. Some people might be tempted here to divide through by sine theta, but you can't do that without losing some solutions, because you're losing the ones where sine theta equals 0. So factorising out then the sine theta, we end up with this. So that means either sine theta equals 0, or cos theta rearranging that then gives us 3 quarters. Sine theta equals zero is a funny one. Um, anything where it equals zero, you need to be very careful with the cast diagram. You could, of course, draw it. And your zero is here, and then it's here, and then it's here. So it's actually three, and you just might miss one of those solutions. I always tend to think whenever it's zero, you're much better just looking at the graph. So I've drawn just a quick sine graph here of zero, 180, and 360, or the three points where it's zero, so those are my three answers in for there. If I look over then at cos theta is equal to three quarters, theta then is 41.4 degrees, the three significant figures, so it's going to be here, and then, so we have it here, and where else is cos positive, so we're going to be all the way then around here. So my two ones then are 41.4 and 318.6, and those then are the two values then that we need. Um, so my five possible solutions are zero, 41.4, 180, 318.6, and 360. Um, example 2 then, solve 3 cos theta minus 2 equals cos 2 theta. A similar enough one here, but obviously we need to be careful because this is a cos 2 theta. So we want to change this into a regular theta. So one of our double angle formulas for cos 2 theta is a 2 cos squared theta minus 1. So I'm going to rewrite it like that, and then we should have a quadratic. So 3 cos theta minus 2 equals 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Remember quadratic, I'm going to take everything over to this side, so it gives us 2 cos squared theta minus 3 cos theta, add 2 to both sides, plus 1 equals 0. Um, does that factorise? Let's take a look, I hope so, 2 cos theta and cos theta. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that it does unless I'm losing my mind here. What do I have? Oh yeah, minus. <laughs> okay, so that it's easy enough. We have that. That gives us cos theta, sorry, just a bit of a mind blank as I always tend to. Uh, so it gives me cos theta equals a half, or it gives me cos theta equals one. Um, so cos theta is a half. It's going to be theta then is cos to the minus one of a half. The of course then going to be 60 degrees, it's between 0 and 360 again. So we have it here, and we want it here. Still a bit embarrassed about that earlier blunder, not being able to factorise a simple quadratic, but that's okay. So if theta is 60, and then theta is 300. And then if you've cos theta equals 1, again that's a bit of an odd one, I just think we need to be careful here. Um, so I would... If you do cos theta is equal to 1, you're going to get theta equal to 0. I, again, a bit like the previous example, I think that's a special case where you're maybe better looking at the graph. So between 0 and 360, because that's the range we've been asked for here, how does cos look? Cos looks a bit like this. So where is it 1? It's 1 at 0 and at 360. So 0 and 360 then are going to be your two answers then for there. So final answer then is theta equals 0 degrees, 60 degrees, 300 degrees, and 360 degrees.